All right. Um, so as, as, I, as I mentioned before, uh, for this presentation, I'd like to start with a uh, structural model. Now, the models that we can import into the VECO office environment can come from a variety of sources. Um, in, in this case, uh, we have a structural model that could be I mean, imported from Revit, uh, could be a uh, Tecla detailers model, um, could be even an architectural uh, or an architectural file from the architect. Um, uh, all of those can be imported and, and dissected and, and used to uh, define quantities that will be uh, used to derive our scheduling durations. So I'd like to take us first into the takeoff manager environment and have a look at the quantities that we'll be using to define our schedule. So as you can see on the screen, uh, we have on the right-hand side our 3D structural model. As I move my cursor over, you can see the program is identifying uh, all of the different uh, modeled elements within the screen. Each of these can be listed in a line item on the left-hand side of the screen. For example, if I expand this W columns line item here, uh, if I select it, you'll see that all of the W section field columns have been highlighted yellow in the modeling environment on the right-hand side of the screen. And all of the quantity types that you see below this W columns line item are available for us to use in uh, calculating our schedule durations. Uh, it's a very simple model that we're using for this uh, for this presentation. Uh, we've got some uh, structural steel. Uh, we've got you know, W uh, section steel columns and beams. We have some some brace beams and uh, some slab on deck that we'll be using. Now the uh, the advantage that we have uh, with being able to define all of these uh, construction quantities is that each of these uh, quantities that are being extracted from the model, or being read from the model here in the takeoff manager, can drive any number of activities. So this single slab on deck uh, uh, line item here on the left, all of the quantities that are calculated by the, by the uh, uh, within Vico Office can be used to drive you know 10, 20 different uh, activities. Uh, required for the installation of this work, and, and I'll show you how uh, in, in the next uh, in the next thing. I'm going to take us next into the cost planner environment. Um, the focus of today's presentation is not model based estimating. We we do we have uh, done that process before, um, but the the workflow is the same in that. Beginning with those five simple takeoff items uh, being read from the structural model that we've imported, we can actually extract many different types of, of quantities and assign them to many different uh, uh, means and methods of construction. As you can see in this list, we have our steel column line item up here. Uh, the W section column is being used to uh, calculate, um, in this case, both the weight of the structural steel, which can be used to define a, a cost uh, for your estimate, but more importantly for scheduling is the count of steel, your, your pick count, if you will, which you can see here uh, is at 310 pieces of W section uh, column. Similarly, for our uh, W section beams, we have a pick count here uh, of 2,738 uh, pieces, and the same for bracing at 302. So the combination of the W section columns, beams, and, and bracing, uh, that will sum up to give us a total uh, number of picks required. Uh, to install the structural steel on this job. And so we're really, um, you know, having that number of picks available in the model and, and, and visually available for us to um, segment into different work areas is a pretty uh, uh, powerful information for schedule planning. 
Now, in order to derive a, a duration for the installation of this work, we need to understand the, uh, the production data. And in this case, uh, we have defined a productivity rate for the installation of this steel. And at the EREC steel column level, uh, that is um, the, the hours required to install, or the man hours inquire, required to install uh, a piece of uh, W column steel, uh, or I'm sorry, W section steel column, uh, we've defined it two hours each. Now, this is just um, a kind of a round number. Uh, but you, know, you could be mining historical data here. Uh, you could be uh, discussing, or you should be discussing with your uh, steel installer uh, what their assumed um, you know, number of picks per day might be. You know, uh, projects I've worked on in the past have been anywhere from 60 to 70 picks a day assumption. And this uh, man hours per each is in line uh, with those rates. You can see that we've got a two hours each here for the columns, but we're factoring in a different rate for the steel beams. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the setting of the steel is a little bit different function, and so for each category of installation, we can actually input pretty detailed uh, production planning data. Um, and at this, uh, in this example, I have uh, two hours each for the columns, I have 1.2 hours each for the steel beams, and four hours each for the bracing. And this is assuming uh, all of the accessory tasks for getting that piece of steel in place. Now, uh, the same kind of uh, operation for production type uh, calculations we would use for the structural steel, we can use for the slab on deck. Now, this single line item, slab on metal deck, is being used to drive 10 to 15 different means and methods uh, that we can use for uh, scheduling. You can see that we have uh, a group of methods up at the top uh, for all of our MEP inserts. We've got a method here for shakeout of the deck. We've got welding of the deck, uh, reinforcing, and, and of course, finally, uh, placing and, and finishing of the concrete. And each one of these cost items here contains the productivity data we need to calculate the duration. Now, uh, you can calculate or you can extract these quantities a number of ways. Uh, in this particular example, I'm simply using uh, the square footage of the slab on deck um, and an average, let's say, inserts per square foot by trade uh, to define the inserts uh, quantity for for this uh, takeoff item here, um, but you know if you have a, a very detailed 3D coordination model that has your MEP hangers installed, you can certainly import those items and use those to drive the actual number of inserts you would be expecting to see on the deck. So um, before we move along, just to summarize the you know the short list of uh, takeoff items that we saw in the previous screen uh, being extracted from the model can be used to create a very elaborate um, and detailed uh, set of means and methods in this list, uh, which will provide you the building blocks, you know, the quantities uh, to define the durations and the amount of work in each location for your schedule.